G'day, I'm Beelix Ed, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm here playing the second best Australian Hearts of Iron YouTuber. Introduce yourself. <laughs> you cheeky cunt. All right. G'day, mates. My name's Rumi. I am here to conquer the world of Poland with my small, tiny attack dog known as the Neo-Ottoman Empire. Right. <laughs> now, we are under threat by the German Reich, and hopefully when my uh, radar station is built, it's there. Bloody hell, I still can't see their divisions. Yeah, alright, let's unpause. No, I can't get me. Nah. Correct. Don't have enough intel. I need to know what's going on on the other side of that damn line, but, uh... For now, I'm gonna great basically grab, uh, Czechoslovakia. Sorry, Slovakia. It's no longer Czech. Uh, I'm gonna invade that as quickly as possible, grab that up, and then I'll have a nice, solid, two-wide front line against Germany. Yeah, there look like a fair few tanks on the other side of that line. Well, that's why I've got the... How are you uh, prepared for that? The anti-air, right? That is what's going to pierce their armour. Yeah. You do realise that tanks don't fly. I do. <laughs> I realise this. You do realise the guns point down as well. Oh, yeah, well, true, true. Yes, no. The, uh, the anti-air should work just fine. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry and scream because everyone's going to die horribly. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a quick pushback. Yeah, like. in before Warsaw falls before the month is out, so... Mm-hmm. So, Hungary, are they going to against us immediately or not? No, they actually don't join the Axis for uh, quite a while. And as soon as they do, they'll just be surrounded and crushed by us anyway. But for now, Good. they work well because they kind of, uh, they make a, I guess, a pick in the line between us. So, like, we just can sort of work around it. Germany doesn't have a wider front. Hmm. Um, yeah. All right, so let me just organize this second front here. All of you lot are going to be invading to here. Ah, yes, I've got armoured operations now. Definitely the one I want with zero tanks. <laughs> Best research. No, it's a, you have to research it in the bloody uh, Grand Battle Plan tech. Too bad. Oh, well. There we go. So, the thing is, do, what do field hospitals actually require? They require uh, motorised and support equipment. Ah, uh, yeah, certain things require certain... Uh, what do you call it? resources so the ones below the motorized tech and i'm trying to pull up my tech now uh, which are field hospitals and logistics they require motorized and support equipment and everything else just requires mm -hmm. support equipment gotcha yeah i think uh signal companies might also need motorized yeah looks yeah, like they look it. they're in the big box yeah sort of a box in a box boxes in boxes mm. in boxes that's it it's the inception of technologies <laughs> Man, I'm kind of sad I don't have Lithuania. It would give me a few extra divisions, but I guess I'll just have to make do. Mm -hmm. I've still got 600,000 soldiers, so I'm happy enough with that. He's going, We've currently got go. 10 motorized up there. That's a pretty powerful push. Well, yeah, that thing is I've got to push really, really quickly, because if I lose that push, i am pretty much lost the war. Well, the thing is, do you want to push them across the river, or do you want to move down to the underside of the river to the east near no. Cornus over there? Well, the reason why I want to push along across the river is if they do claim Memel, which I don't think they can, uh, I've got that port defended, and uh, mm -hmm. pretty much there's less, what do you call it, less forest. It means I can push a lot quicker. Ah, uh, true, true. Yeah. Although it's it looks like it's clear, if you go down three provinces south of that river on the eastern side... You know You've got one, two, three, sure. four into Koenigsberg. You Let's don't have throw a river crossing. two guys there just to get another push going that way. I'll split the push up slightly. I normally I mean, just I go for one push, work. but uh, I'll see how it works. Yeah. Could fail horribly. Could. You could have just doomed me. So uh, if the Polish state yeah. falls, I'll uh, remember who to yell at. When, <laughs> actually, fun fact, I think I can play the government in exile if I do fail. Um, you, can you do anything though? Well, I control. control the navy. I control all my troops and all my navy. It's just uh, I don't have my land, and I'm basically trying to recapture places. Mm. Uh oh, hang on. <gasps> German Reich is justifying oh, against happened? us. It's happening. Oh, uh oh, hang on. The Soviet Union is justifying against us. Ah, uh, wait, what? <laughs> yes, the Soviet Union is justifying against me. Let's get Finland into our war because we might lose now. Agreed? Just flying against Poland, yeah. Okay, go for it. All right, come in, Finland. We love you. Um, that's shit. Would I be better off at this point pulling my forces back and letting Yugoslavia deal with the German Reich? I don't think Yugoslavia my... can. Think... No, but I... I think I can 
let the Caucasus Mountains stop Soviet East. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. And I could all I could step and say right here in the southern bit for you and help protect your southern flank. I think what I was going to... Yeah, I, was, I think split your army into two or three bits. Have your homeland defense pushing against Russia when it does attack. Have the ones so covering people. my east and then have like a, just a couple divisions pushing into Germany to help with the so, with the uh, Yugoslavians. Mm. I still think we should get Greece in here because those nice few divisions down there would be ha happy, but uh, I guess yeah, fine. Yeah, pull them. Pull them right, in. You sure? No, All if right. we need them, go for it at this point with, with the Russian bear coming in. Fair enough. All right, our division, sorry, our faction now pretty much consists the entirety. If you look at the map uh, in faction modes, there we go. <laughs> look at it. The entire just great red Polish line. Hmm. Bloody hell. It's going to get squished, I think. Yep, sounds like it. Now, oh, well, I'm just going to start pushing out divisions before, the, before they're even trained because I just need the manpower. Infantry equipment three. Done. Nice. Now, the question is, is it going to make much of a difference? Hopefully it shall. Um, hmm. Uh, what sure, do you I need to go for? Steel. Tank, ship, aircraft, maybe? No. Let's just get extra naval experience gain, sure. Uh, sorry, extra political power. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... What do you got? Uh, Republicans may look at... Who should we make democratic or fascist to join our faction? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. It's a good question. Because I want to start influencing someone. Maybe we influence, like, uh, Norway, Sweden, maybe? No. I don't think there's anyone else... Good we have in Hungary, maybe? or Hungary, yeah. Maybe if we... we I'm going to start influencing them. Uh... Ah, we can't... I, can't I mean, boost. the other option would be Iran or something. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. Yep. Uh, oh boy. Soviets are getting angry. Are they putting stuff on the board? Yeah, pretty much. Germans should invade first, and that means I can hopefully push against them and then pull back and fight the Russians. But uh, the Russians are going to be one hell of a fight. Mm. They're putting people on my border. So I'm going to do. Yeah, you can see there. Hmm. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Actually, hang on a second. It looks like I massively outnumber the Germans on the uh, eastern border. Because they're moving south as well. Well, fair enough, but that means we can get a pretty good push. Let's go like well, this. Well, yeah. There's a lot of them down here in Yugoslavia. Well, hopefully that won't matter when we just destroy them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe I should go paratroopers? Yeah, hang on, I've got... Oh, no, we don't have enough air superiority to use them. Damn it. I was going to go paratroopers and paratroop into Russia when they try and attack. I'm just going to upgrade my field hospitals for now. One. Yeah. Well, I've seen uh, Germany use it to great effect. They took Leningrad, they took... Uh, what else? They took Moscow, all that stuff with just paratroopers. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get ready, because I think war is about to break out. It's August, and I think they declare in September, on September the 1st, I think is when it happens. Sure, let's grab that. Okay. So you can see I've got my, like, sort of southern divisions going to push into Slovakia, secure that, and then as soon as that's done, it's going to swing around and go straight for uh, Prague, probably. Hmm... Actually, what I'll do is if I'm going to hold against... Ooh. All right, Danzig or war, it's happening. Okay, Slow go time for it. down. Danzig will, mem will remain Gdansk. Sure. Gdansk. Gdansk. Get to the chopper. Right. Together uh, we must stop this aggressor. Yes. Uh, so, war? Come on. Yes, okay, okay, the war has begun. The question. Yes, okay. All to arms, accept. Yes! Okay, good. You guys go this way, it's fling around. Hopefully the convoy invasions will stop them now. You guys go straight for there. Hang on, no, straight for Konigsberg. Have you called everyone in? Uh, yes I have. I'm gonna double check, but... <gasps> yes, UK sending volunteers. Okay, this line is barely holding. Hang on. It's not holding well, that's for sure. Alright, my attack in the south is gonna go down now. And I'm just gonna call guys in to fight on the front line. 
Do you have any spare anti-air that you can send me? Like an um, awesome... I so have should be able to. Hang on. Ooh, ace pilot. Um, what am I missing? Close air support, never mind. Ah, good, we're killing all their, uh... Oh, never mind. How the hell did three German convoys kill one of my planes? What? <laughs> yes, oh yes, we, we rammed the plane. It's alright, I'm about to take Konigsberg. Um, Maybe I'll planes don't fly either. <laughs> I'll see if I can give you some Lend-Lease, good. I'll give you Toad with them both. Uh, I'll give you 15% of my production. There we go. Okay, if we take Konigsberg, that's them done. Ooh, they're pushing my line slightly, but I should be able to hold them here. Yeah, okay, the Polish line is holding just barely. Alright, I'm going to stop my plans to attack just there, and so just attack it there. Good. Fine. The Soviet bear hasn't declared on us yet, so we've still got a while. Just a little while to hold off. Yeah, October, I believe. Yeah, when God. 13th of October. Two weeks. I've actually surrounded a ton of German divisions in this port. If I can uh, take it now, I should be able to wipe them out. But God, they're just not dropping. They're, all, like, they're all in full organization, and they're just not dying. The bloody bastards. Okay, yeah, we're blowing up. You're doing well in the south here. Yeah, fair enough. We're blowing up all their uh, what do you call it? Their convoys. So that should be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, the the line is sort of ground to a halt. They pushed me a little bit, but I've sort of held them back. And we try and do a uh, push out again. The problem is, is they've got my forts, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. But uh, the forts are the main thing keeping me alive right now. Mm hmm. Bit of a struggle here. Hmm. Yeah, damn, okay. Um ooh. Bloody hell, they've taken I mean, yeah, there are a lot of forces hospital. down in the south here. So I've probably got the best further army in the south. Yeah, bloody hell, I need to wait okay, I need to wait for their division to leave the port so I can actually kill them in Ostprison. Hmm. Come on, I've almost leaving. There's only two in there now. Yes, okay, go. Yep, cool. As soon as I take this port, that's that. And they would they would have just surrounded themselves. Oh, come on. Mm. Nah, pull back. Just go for the bloody port. Come on. How long is this battle going to take? Less than a day. Good. Meanwhile, they keep, they keep sending in convoys and they're just getting sunk. Good. So if we kill any of their... Um their people. Any of their what? Any of their, like, people in, in, uh, in transit. Uh, we have, yeah, we've killed a few. Oh, but... good, good. Bloody hell. This port is still not being taken. Hey, we've got UK volunteers in, uh, Danzig. They should oh, help hold the line. Yes, okay, the port has fallen. They are dead. Good. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, it's fine. They're going to basically get themselves surrounded. They might push for Warsaw. I don't really care. I'm going to send up uh, some divisions to stop them, but we'll be right. Mm. It's about 14... Uh, it's about 14 divisions there, give or take. Yep. Oh, good. Because I've, I've got the defense... stand still down here in the south, so I've stopped for now. All good, all good. They're going to basically suicide against the port and keep attacking, and they won't be able to hold it. Good. Okay. They're just going to slow the attrition away and lose manpower, which is going to be great. Mm. I'm going to send this guy over here, though, to deal with him. Ooh, hang on a second. The Soviet Union have sent volunteers to fight for Latvia. Uh, <laughs> okay. Suppose so. Yeah, Think about this. If I fall back, I'm actually going to fall back slow into Yugoslavia to a narrow choke point. Fair enough. 
Yeah, I'm currently trying to still push into Slovakia, so it's still going to be a little while before I get the uh, big push against the Germans. I think we might have to hold out until uh, they invade France, at which point we should just have them on the ropes. So we need Yugoslavia to defend here. And we'll have to up Italy in the south here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're carving out a bit of territory here, but they're out of supply. They'll be dead very soon. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Division, stop. Divisions are trying to get on boats. What are you doing? You madman. Get rid of all of your orders. Stop this and just sit in that port. Uh, it's not looking good for you in Oprasen at the moment. Nah, it's all right. We'll be right. Hang on. Oh, bloody hell. No, stop this bloody... Ah. Right, Yugoslavia wants to send me three divisions. No, you keep them, mate. You can have them. It's not the best, but we'll hold it. My forts are sprouting up as well. It's good. Funnily enough, the Soviet Union forces that they sent as volunteers are putting themselves on the border with the Soviet Union. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, comrades. We will defend against our own country. You confuse me, uh, game. It's going to get very messy in a couple of seconds. You know what's happening? We've got, uh, well, less than a month until the Soviet Union finishes um, fabricating on you. Bugger. Well. Not looking good. Fall of, Fall of Warsaw. Warsaw. That's, that's fine. Good. That's fine. I'm not going to capitulate just yet. I've still got, uh, I've just got to roll over some troops to go grab it back. The problem is now they'll have some supplies from Warsaw. Hmm. All of you guys need to stop trying uh, to move. get cut off as well. Yeah, well... I can't, I can't just... have got one dude who's already cut off. Yeah, I can't spare enough to... Oh, sorry, he's going to link back up. I just can't spare the divisions to fight these, all these forces. They're going to run around everywhere, but they should... T oh, shit! They've caught... Bloody hell. They've captured another port. They, uh, captured... Uh, they got Why are my point. guys mounting up to go in a boat? Dear God, game. Do not send my infantry on boats. No, stop this. Once I've mopped up with Italy here in the south, I'm going to send a uh, about 15 divisions up north your way. Cheers, but bloody hell. Right. They're holding for now. Hmm. Problem is they're no longer out of supply. Oh, never mind, because they're about to they're about to leave this port. Oh, bugger. Let them go and then capture that port and they'll be out of supply again. Oh, we've got improved anti-air. Let's start building that. Improved anti-air. Lovely. Alright, cool. I'm about to capture their port back from them. Soon they'll have none. Alright, I'm grabbing Warsaw. And, ah, could use some more divisions everywhere, please. I just need more troops. Right, I'm pushing them out of Warsaw. I'll take that back real quick. Okay, good, good. Um, if you can get any more well, I think we're in a good position. I'm going to research support weapons ahead of time, just to actually get uh, my guys salute. You know Danzig is currently ungarrisoned? Yes, but I'm kind of okay with that. I don't want to spare the troops to do it. Ah, screw it. I'll, I'll roll these guys up. Oh, bastards. Why it's do they go that way? a pretty tough one to retake. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I'll grab it. They're just and not moving port. for it, weirdly enough. Oh, never mind. The UK is going to go sit in it. Fail. My problem right now is that as long as they keep attacking Kron uh, Konigsberg, it's fine. But for some reason, all the troops in Konigsberg are trying to bloody mount up and go on a boat. And that's what I, that's the last mm. thing I want them doing. Shit, more divisions are coming in. Are you holding? You might have to fall out of Konigsberg. No, it's fine. They're gonna hold there, but uh, the problem is there's more divisions coming in through the other port of captured Memel. Bloody hell, I should have had a force yep. defending Memel. Crap. Catalyst okay, to Hmm. 
got a bunch of divisions coming up. I'm leaving Germany in the south. Yeah, well... Where Yugoslavians can hold. Okay, you're gonna push there. Yeah, Germany's pushed me in a few places, but hopefully I'm gonna start pushing back against them now. Sort of got... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, go. Okay, okay, so the justification is complete. They just haven't declared war yet. Which I hope they okay. never will. Oh, shit. I lost a few divisions. Right, fall out. Ah, uh, from my, uh, motorized. I don't know how they've died. I up, think in Mim up in Koenigsberg. Yeah, because they, they seem to be trying to get on boats, and I think they've gotten on boats and then have been killed at sea or something. I'm very confused. No, because you, well, you can't retreat anywhere. You've got, you're running well, out of uh, Well, look, they're going on boats when they retreat. It's a bit strange. Oh, good. Hopefully they that. keep doing that. Well, that's not what I want them to do, though. I want them just to fight to the last and hold that goddamn port. <laughs> it's the only way we're going to win this battle. Ah, well. We keep killing their convoys, we're just not killing them enough. Oh, no, crap. No, no. Okay. The Soviet bear is awoken. Oh, man. Okay, um... Right. Scrap these army's plans. One front line. Good. Like so. And then... Troops deployed here. You guys jump into that army. Alright, and march up and start recapturing Warsaw. This is not looking good. No. Oh no, Tanner 2 have joined. Oh, oh great. Shit. Yeah, we're destroyed now. God, might as well give up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, damn it, how are we going to do this? Man, I'd really like for the UK to do something right now. Bit like the real world, they didn't do much. No. Volunteers from Japan and World really Visions, that's interesting. Yeah, that, why does Japan do that? I wonder. No idea. Okay. God, they've pushed us up to Danzig. This is not good, yeah, the line's breaking. It's buckling and folding. Bastards. Well, this sucks. Yep. Looks like I might be a government in exile pretty soon. I'm not holding this well enough. Are you able to fall right back down to my direction? Because that's what I'm, I'm doing with my move. majority of my forces. I'm gonna draw up and uh, draw up a new line, and it's basically gonna be just below Lawau. I don't know if I can even get out. I've, I've been paying attention. I've got uh, 18 divisions up north about to be cut off. Where are they? They're going through the gap right now between Hungary and Russia. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to just roll them down. All my divisions are rolling down now. Hey, Japan wants to send me volunteers, and it disappeared. Damn it. Oh, God, the Soviets are pushing it. Okay, um... Yep, I'm going to try and hold Istanbul at this point. I'm going to try and make a desperate push up north, maybe, and, like, secure a port to sail to your land. <laughs> Everyone is leaving Poland. Let's leave, come on. Oh god. Yeah. Everyone get there and we're gonna leave, we're gonna fly out through Danzig. Cause everyone else is about to get cut off by the Soviets. Mm-hmm. I'm nearly at Istanbul. Right. I think we've pretty much failed this one, Remy. I think we might have, but uh so we're in a bit of a fun ride. Got a nice few invasions. I oh, think, yeah. hang on, screw it. I'm going to get my guys. Are you holding in the east from Soviets, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm pushing a little bit into the Caucasus, but not nice. much. Nice. Well, if I can get all my boats down to you, which... Oh, can I go... been a naval invasion. I can get through there. I can get through there. If you cool. can get down here. Yeah, it looks like I can get all the way to you. I'm basically going to roll into Greece, land all my troops there, and then I'm going to move out and just spread and hold the south. But I gotta push north first. Oh yeah. If I can take Danzig, I can push back and hold. Uh, I can basically give my tons of units uh, a chance to fight somewhere else. All right, keep pushing. Get to Danzig. Free the port. Forget about Warsaw. Uh, where have all my boats? 
Okay, they're operating without a port at this point. It's interesting. Yep. Well, all my boats are the same, actually, yeah, because Danzig's fallen. Come on. Push a little more, please. Army buggers. There we go, up through there. Righto. Danzig will be fallen soon enough, hopefully. Ah, there's a lot of forts there. They're holding well. Alright, we'll push around Danzig for now. Damn it, we keep shooting their convoys, but they keep escaping. Hmm. Yeah, I need a new port. Oh, of course, we can use Finland as our port. That's too easy. Actually, I might get my guys to go to Finland and then to you. Just, like, get to f safety first. Yeah, whatever you think it is. Well, as of right now, I just need to get around and actually push through properly. Nice, okay. These guys crush you. You push on up to here. And I'm out of manpower again. It's only because I'm building Ooh, troops though. Which my 200,000 manpower. Alright, I'm going to leave a division behind and I shall name them something special. Where are they? You boys. I don't know where you name you. Um, you shall be the last stand. They're going to hold Krakow for as long as possible. Good luck, boys. Brave soldiers. One unit. Yep, one unit's going to hold Krakow for as long as possible. Everyone else needs to get the bloody hell out of here. I've switched up my field marshal. Yeah, pretty much if I can take Danzig, I can just flee the country. Like it's a just stage a... Crete or something? Yeah, pretty much. I've just got to get to Danzig first. And I've gotten most of my troops up there. I just need to hold the line for the rest of them to get here. And basically Krakow is going to be a pretty essential port, uh, part to hold. I'm not going to get field hospitals in time, which means no point actually bothering these for me. I'm going to leave my support Ooh, with Oh, good. Danzig's about to fall. Ooh. Insufficient resources. Not my biggest concern right now, funnily enough. <laughs> ah, come on. I've almost got that part taken. Danzig still refuses. Damn it! Where did all Where of my soldiers go? What? <laughs> yeah, they've all disappeared. Oh, you're kidding me. I didn't get them out in time. No. They're gone, ski. Buggers. Right, well. Well, Remy. Get to watch it. Ah, uh, wait. I think I might be able to try something. Hold on. No, never mind. Oh my god, I'm gone. Yep. Oh, what the hell just happened? Poland just got uh, capitulated. Uh, and. Yeah, but the war's over. Yeah. What the fuck? Just have yep. I, a look at um. Oh, because I was the major. I was the only major in the the fight. But look at. The, what, How what? do I have? Hang on a second. I'm the Polish People's Republic now. I'm communist. Yeah, I'm. I'm so communist as well. Wait. Did how did you get captured? What the fuck? <laughs> no, look at what? This, look at it. You're the Turkish so <laughs> Socialist Republic. I'm now playing as a communist. <laughs> That's a little bit broken. Do we even have any land? Oh, look at that. I can still oh, go down that. the um, <laughs> militarism path. Yeah, look at that. I'm military I've, now. I've still got, um, I've got what's like barely what remains of Romania. Wow. What an end. <laughs> what, that game, what just happened? That was terrible. We didn't even go one episode in the war. Bloody hell. Oh, well. So, tell you what, that was a lovely little ex incredibly stupid end to that war, but uh, do you want to run? Foray into the world of multiplayer Hearts of Iron. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Let's oh, leave this one for now, and oh, God, yeah, next we'll time... Yeah, this one here. Next time you can play the Polish, because Jesus Christ, that's terrifying to try and play. The, lo the long, thin line between the two fascists and communists. Ah, oh, well. Till next time, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and please sign us off.
Take care. I've been BLXZ. This has been Rimmy Down on BLXZ playing a terrible, terrible game of Parts of Iron 4. <laughs> uh, we will see you next time. We're the worst. We try and take over the world, or at least try and survive. Fair take enough. care, and I'll see you around. Farewell.